At the end of World War II, cities, bridges, power stations, railways, the entire infrastructure of Nazi Germany was destroyed. When the war ended, there was peace. And then the U.S. rebuilt everything. This was called the Marshall Plan. Back in America, the post-war era created an economic boom as a new interstate highway system allowed businesses to expand across the nation. It was the greatest public works project since the building of the pyramids. Small businesses got bigger, and an industrial-sized bakery could now sell its goods across the entire nation. By centralizing its production, it could bake bread cheaper than your local baker. These economies of scale led entire industries to consolidate. Towns suddenly saw their local grain mills, slaughterhouses, supermarkets, butchers, dairies, and bakeries vanish, one by one. Now there's no difference between a supermarket in Kansas City or Boston or San Diego or Fort Lauderdale, and our culture is the poorer for it. We need a new Marshall Plan in this country to recover what's been lost. Benzie Ronan creates tools to power local food systems. He says, We need networks of farms, highly local distribution channels, and motivated consumers. And instead of economies of scale, he says, We need economies of community. When communities support local food producers, distributors, and consumers, they're helping to restore local food systems one farm and one consumer at a time. Economies of community. A way to build healthy local food systems. To learn more about terms like economies of community, visit lexiconofsustainability.com. And remember, your words can change the world.